My name is Anshu Gupta and uh, I come from India. Uh, we run an organization called uh, Goonj. Goonj is basically a Hindi word, the local language word, which means echo of voice. And we work on very, very uh, basic issues, you know. I mean, what we touched upon is that uh, we said that you, you talk about three basic needs. You save food, cloth and shelter. But ultimately, cloth or clothing does not figure in the list of development issues. I mean, if you see across the globe, no, no planning, no budget allocation, no development goals, no agenda of funding agencies or any other development agency actually has clothing or cloth as mandate. So, so globally, we are trying to work on poverty as, as, as a world and we ignore the first visible sign of poverty. Maybe that is one of the basic reasons that we need to work on it. You can, you can divide it in three different parts. Okay? Uh, so there are three stakeholders you can say. One is the collection of material. That is totally done by the volunteers. Then it comes to the processing center of uh, Goonj. Now, we do a very rigorous sorting, processing, and if needed, cleaning of some material. And we match the needs of people. Then it goes to primarily the villages of India. That does not mean that we don't work in the cities. But we talk more about villages because we see that if, if we can solve the problem in the villages and we do that, uh, you know, that village development kind of thing, then it will be a totally different scene in the country. Uh, that's where we involve communities, uh, the people, uh, to look for their own issues. The villages of that village will come up with something. They might suggest that they want to dig a pond or clean a pond. They want to make a road or a bridge as per need, 100% local resources, local wisdom, no consultant, no big technology, no big tools, no big machines. So they work on those issues and then instead of money, they receive this cloth, utensil, footwear, whole lot of material, whatever we collect. You know, it is not about distributing clothes. If you support the community or if you fulfill the need of the community, the, the, you can say the material need of the people, of the community, whether it is in the form of utensil, school material, footwear or clothes or woolens, whatever, you know, as a part of cloth for work, you free up their limited resources to be spent on maybe education, on health, on food. So it's basically making a dent in the entire life of a person. Otherwise, you need to make people stakeholders. I think from our model, that is the only thing people can learn, that the poorest of poor across the globe also have a voice, also have wisdom, also have willingness to participate. It is people like us who do not make them a part of it because of our vested interest. I think we have been able to touch upon a lot of, lot of ignored issues, a lot of non-issues as we say in our work. Clothing was a non-issue. Mental hygiene, central sanitary pad used to be a non-issue. Participation of stick, you know, people for whom we are working used to be a non-issue. So if some people can really take up these non-issues and start working and valuing that, I think that is going to be a big change. This is how the advocacy will, will go on. Uh, I'm looking for a, uh, waiting for a day when the policy makers start understanding this as a development model, you know, not as a charitable institution.